pretty good when you know, I didn't know how I was thinking about all the ways this race could go and it kind of just played into my kind of race you know not fast not slow a little bit windy everyone's kind of there with a lot to go but it's it's shaved down to a few people and I can really get a clear side of, of who I have to hawk down and yeah I felt good with that with that last lap if, if Grant would have made a bigger push it might have been harder but um, because it was windy, it made it hard for him. And, even though I had yeah. a race, I did. At what point does it kind of click in your head that it is your kind of race and it is kind of playing out exactly how you had hoped? Um, had hoped? Um, how do I know that? Well, just like when in the race does that, does that start to register? I mean, it's really hard to really know because with four to go, they start to make a hard press. And I think that's a little bit early for me, but I can do it. Um, and then they slow it down again and it really started to pick up with 800 to go. And that's, that's, that's right in my wheelhouse. So I'm not sure. Basically, you know, Gary and I talked. Yeah. You know, from the 69. Is, is yeah. What does it feel like to cover a move like that? It's what I expected. I thought Grant was going to push from further out, and I, Grant, Grant was actually in a tough position where he knew he had to drop me, right? Like, because he's trained with me for so long. So I actually had less pressure, right? Like, I have, I know I can outkick Grant, and Grant knows I can outkick him. So he knows he has, it's on him to, to try and beat me. So I think. I think he had more pressure than I did. In that test. You went on that last lap, did you know that you were going to win the race? No, you never know. Like, until you really come up on someone, you don't know how much somebody has left, right? Like, Grant could have been, you know, I, I looked around even, be, like, on the back, but did somebody get me because I was pressing really hard. And then I, I felt no one there. I knew I had I didn't know I won until I crossed the line. Maybe. Now, it's incredible how, how much you changed your training situation. And here you are again, standing before. For us, you know, as, as the yeah, thank you very much. It was yeah. really a smart move for you. I mean, how has yeah. everything worked out so well with you? Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> a little bit lucky. Like, because, you know, I I didn't really know what I was getting into with Mike. I, I had an idea after talking to him, and I knew those guys fairly well, but they're both really young, Abdi and, and Luis. Um, they had a good year last year, so I, it was a pretty big risk, and, and it just turned out that me and Mike really vibe, and I really like his training. It, it's exactly what I need, and he's really open to to working with me. So it, it was a little bit lucky and a little bit of a, I got a good feeling about this, you know. Does this win yeah. validate that decision, or has what you've already done this year validated it? Like, what do you think? Uh, I don't think so, not yet. You know, <laughs> I, I think there's still a lot of work to be done. I still have another 5K. Um, there's still worlds, and I, I want to do all there. And uh, I don't think the decision. Yeah, I don't think the decision was. I'm not trying to validate the decision. I'm just trying to keep racing. It, you know, I think that's that's just trying to do the best I can. Do you feel stronger than in yeah. previous years? Huh? Do you feel stronger than in previous years? Uh, I feel really strong. Yeah, I, this is probably, I'm 30 years old and like, I've never felt this strong this late. Yeah, no, like, and, and just like training every day, I know that I can, I'm doing more miles. I'm doing like longer, better workouts. So in a lot of ways I feel really, really strong, but I'm also really tired. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's, it's trade off. Yeah. And do you feel like that feeling stronger late in the race, is that a product of upping your mileage doing double threshold or is that an accumulation of all the training you've done in I think your life to this point? I think it's both, man. I, most of it is the training I've done my whole life. Like even on Bowerman, I was always like, I would try and get more miles in. And, and this is a lot easier way to do that, to get higher volume. Um, but it's accumulation. I mean, even at Portland, I was a higher, compared to other colleges, I was yeah, thank a higher volume than, than other people. But, um, you know, I've had my injuries and, and that wasn't, I wasn't doing high volume when I was hurt. So I've kind of, I've had kind of like a high volume, no volume kind of career. And in this case, it's, it's a really sustainable way of training.